now for putting your lead on, I would put it on first. It's quite, it's quite easy. I usually start halfway down, just catch it on the side, because it's sticky it will stay there for you. Touch and turns, take it up towards the eye, and then bring it back down a couple of turns. So it's three turns up, two turns back. This is help, give weight to the fly, give you a wee bit more bulk in the thorax area. Plus it works a treat. Another thing you can do if you want to add weight to the fly is put a gold head, a tungsten bead or something, which again will give you, will get your nymph much deeper in the water. Thread is a rusty brown. This is a, a mix between, so like if you look at it, a brown and an orange. Or is it sometimes I would say near enough fiery brown. It's an excellent colour for tying this fly. Simply start at the eye of the hook, touch and turns, bring it over the lead. Nice and tight. Cut away or break away the waste. It's entirely up to you. And then run your thread right down until you're in line with the barb or just before it goes round the bend. Now for the tail, it's from the hair, hair's mask itself. You want to use these long fibres here. As you can see the area where I've actually been taking some from. And more of this area here. Just trim away a few. Tail length should be round about, well, it's up to yourself. I don't like them too long. Now there's your, the hair from the mask. Just hold the tips at this point because there's a lot of under fur there. I like to take this away. It comes away quite easily. Just take it out of the way. Tail length, probably the, the body length. Just slightly, slightly off the side of the hook on my side, so when I bring the thread over, then I can bring the turns on top and twist the tail so it's nice and straight. If you find there's one or two hairs too long, just pull them out. Two or three turns in to secure. Trim away the waist, all, all the way down here, the body length, that's your, your measure. Now you need your gold tinsel. Slightly off it to the side. And at this point I would secure these in. Tie them down. Take your thread all the way up. Bring it back down. Now you want your hairs here. This is from the the hair, the, the ears of the, the hair itself. It's a much shorter fibre. Now what I've done here, I mean it's well mixed up, mix it between your fingers, it makes it much easier to apply onto the thread. Now, I would recommend that you wax your thread, and this is a cobbler's wax, a hard wax. Just rub it onto your thread. I don't always do this, but with this type of fibre, it's a very short hair, and what you'll find is, with the wax, just gives you that wee touch more grip and doesn't fall off as easy. Just tighten it up. Now, once you start, do a single turn at the bottom and then tighten up slightly, twisting these fibres the one way and work your way up, forming the body, forming like a carrot shape. Keep going to get to about this point here. Then bring your rib up through, nice and tight. Now we get to this point here, just be careful because let's say this is tin, proper tinsel. Be careful that you don't cut your thread. Just bring your thread over the top and take your time, tie it down. Trim away your waist. And again, just slightly tidy up. Now I'm taking the thread all the way up towards the eye. This is how I form the legs and the thorax of the fly. Now, 
Get your pheasant tail fibres. Now what I like to do is, you've got the stem, you bring it 90 degrees from the stem out, and this lines up the points, or the tips. Once you've done that, tail them off. Then what I do is, I tie tips forward of the eye. Now the length, you're looking at the length of the body just as a measure the legs that you're looking for. So there's your body length there. That's the sort of length you're looking for. You can have them shorter, longer, it's up to yourself. As I say, just tie them forward and on the top. And then take your thread turns down, tying in the pheasant tail fibres. Just slightly flatten, it, flatten them out as you go to this point here. Then you get some more hairs here and the dubbing. Dub it on. Take your time and then form your thorax as you go up. Take your time. Now you could you, you could leave the legs out if you want because you could brush out some of these fibres and these fine hairs would form the legs as well. It's entirely up to yourself. Now when you get to this point here what I like to do is half the fibres each side, just like bring, if there's 12 there, bring 6 each side. So like, you've got like whiskers, if you want to call it that. Then you bring your thorax cover over, pull back the tips of the pheasant tail, just back, pull them back out the, way, out the way, and then bring your thread over. It's a couple of turns just now, just slightly tighten up. And with another two or three turns just to make sure it's not going to move. And that's the effect you get there. This adds a wee bit more to the fly itself. Now make sure you've got some wax on your thread. Gives you that wee bit more grip. A couple more turns. Causes it to stick, you see. Come in and trim your pheasant tail fibres away. Now I'm going to put my nail in here just to slightly flatten. Push back any fibres that's going over the eye. Bring your thread in front, then build up your head. Any f here's fibres that may go forward, just again, catch them with the thread. Then build up your head using the thread. Keep the thread tight at this point, and then go straight in where it finish. One, two, three, four. Tighten up. And trim away your thread. Make sure your eyes clear. Usually get some wax onto the thread. It will fill up the eye. Just clear it out. Let's check, see how it's looking. A couple of fibres I don't like, so trim them away. Basically then all we have to do is get some varnish. And run it around the head. All the way. Take your time. Just a couple of fibres still there. Just take them away. Now I would probably put another coat of varnish on there, but basically that there is hair's ear nymph. One of the best known fly patterns around and certainly worth having in your box.